Hey, welcome back, Platinum TV here once again. Today, 07 F-150, show you how to replace an AC compressor. Well, we're installing one right now. So I'm gonna show you the quick easy step to install it and get it back. Let's go. All right, first thing we're gonna do, get your new compressor, pull the plugs from it. And what you wanna do is flip it over and rotate the clutch clockwise. You want to do that and get all the oil out of it and measure how much oil comes out. We don't know what's in there and become factory preset already. So you want to make sure all the oil comes out while we're doing it. Now we drain the system. We're going to flip it open and fill the system with high oil. So now we got this system empty here. What you want to do, you want to look up in your specs, see how much oil to add. And this compressor, you're going to add two and a half ounces. So you're just going to dump it in there and get it filled. And if you can't see, this is what I'm doing. Dumping it in on the low side. Dump some on the high side. Even it out. So this is the dye, we're gonna put in as well. So if there's a leak, this will show up in fluorescent, green, and it will show that there's a leak in the system. You don't need much, just a drop, because once it mixes, it's gonna spread. And then you just continue pouring the oil in until it's filled. So once you get it filled, what you wanna do is to prime it again, even though it's prime already, and rotate that clutch clockwise. And have that oil rotate through the system. Pull it a few times. You'll hear it bubbling, but if you hear it bubbling and you see it coming up, slow down and go slower. But you don't want it to spill out and hit you in the face or all over your clothes. I can see it right now here bubbling while I'm rotating. That's it. This then is prime. So the next step is to install it in a car. It's up to you if you want to put these caps back on so the oil don't fall out, but I'm not going to put them back on. I'm just going to put it straight into the vehicle. So we're going to move over there for the next step. Let's go. All right, now we're ready to install the compressor. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it and face it in the way. I'm going to install it right here into the bracket. Okay. Slide them up to the holes. Get the bolt. Tighten them down. One by one. Now this one over here is going to be the tricky one. I recommend you put this one in first. And then line it up. Once you get the back one in, you put the front one in. I recommend you put the back one in before the front. Well, don't put the front one in. Tighten the back one before the front one. Reason why, you don't have that much space in between. So you want to tighten that up first thing. It's a 10 millimeter. Take your ratchet, put it in there. It's gonna ratchet wrench on the lip on the back one. Once you get the back one in, just go ahead, tighten up the top one. You can do it by hand or air ratchet. Don't really matter. So once you tighten up the three bolts on the bracket, tighten up that one that you loosen. There's that one 10 millimeter under there that you loosen up to get some slack out of it, out of the bracket. Tight, make sure you tighten that back up. Just take your bottle, lie it back up. Once 
you get those in, tighten it up. Great, tighten back up. You get your suction lines. Make sure you change your O-rings and your gaskets. Add some lube to it so you don't put it in dry. Then you put it on. I always start with the outer one because that's more harder to get to afterwards. So I'll lube it up, put it not on, and then tighten it. once again. Push that on. Put the nut on top. Tighten it down. Once that's done, next thing to do is to put the belt back on. So it's time to put the belt back on. Make sure to loop it. final step uh, evacuating and sucking all the air out of the system all right so as you can see the vacuum is not completed <coughs> it's holding it's holding pressure it's below my side is down as well so we are good to go now it's time to fill the system up with a free arm and when you're doing it you're gonna come over here to the vehicle there's a chalk on the vehicle and it tells you how much Freon to put in it. So as you see right here, the charge level, 2.25 pounds or 1.02 kilograms. That's what we're gonna charge it to right now on the machine. So let's get back over there and charge it up. So right here, we're gonna get it ready. We're gonna hit charge. And we're charging in pounds. So we're gonna type in 225 zero over and you put in two two five. That's the amount of pounds. Once you get it, you're gonna charge from the high side. So once you charge from the high side, you're going to close the low side off. Keep the high side open because we're charging through that port. Then we hit that check mark. Machine tells you what to do. And when you're ready, you hit that. And there it goes charging. charge the system up. So the system is filled, so you disconnect the hoses, it's gonna sign up and see how cold it is. 
about to start it up. Give it about 15. Raise the RPMs up for the compressor to engage. And there goes the cooler. Let's go take the temperatures in the machine. There's the temperatures, high side. About 155. Both sides is about down to 20 right now. The system is cooling. There's the low side line where you feel all the coolness very cold. This one is a high side which is hot, which hope contains the oil. So, this is the AC job, this is done, the compressor is installed, everything is working, the temperature, temperature, everything is right. So, this is how you install the AC compressor, vacuum it, vacuum the lines, everything out. This is uh, Platinum TV, thanks for watching, hope this helped you all in the shop, get it in and out real quick. Thanks for watching, I'm out.